If the human brain were to develop 100%, it is said that Einstein's brain only developed 13%. It is also said that at 20% of the human brain fully controls the body, at 40% the brain controls objects and other people. But what would happen at 100%? Lucy is one of the lucky people whose brain has developed perfectly. One day, a man came to deliver a box and asked Lucy to take it to the hotel receptionist. Lucy asked him what it was. The man said that it was just some important letters. But Lucy didn't believe him and she turned and went away. The man then locked her in a suitcase. Lucy had no choice but to enter the hotel. Nervously, she waited. Then a group of men in suits arrived. Before she realized it, the man outside had been shot. She was then forced to go upstairs by the men. When they arrived in a room, Lucy saw them killing someone. With fear, she began to beg for mercy. At that moment, the gang leader came in. He gave the code and the box was opened, containing four blue drug packages. Lucy was then knocked unconscious by them, and after a while, she woke up from her hotel bed with an extraordinary pain in her stomach. The drug traffickers had inserted a large bag of drugs into her stomach and forced her to become a human courier to smuggle drugs out of the country. But just before she was about to go, a thug saw Lucy's beauty and started beating her, and then kicked her stomach. After the thug left, Lucy felt a great deal of pain. Because the drug in her stomach had released a large amount of energy from the drug, blue light quickly spread throughout her body, with blue light flowing through her blood vessels. Under the influence of the drug, her body began to convulse. Her body could resist gravity and fly from the ground to the ceilings, even hovering in the air. It turns out that the magical drug had developed her brain by 20%. After a few moments, Lucy woke up from a coma and became calm as if none of this had ever happened. Then another man entered and tried to operate on her. Lucy smiled at him and opened her legs. When the man saw that the woman had taken the initiative, he put down his weapon and approached her. Lucy suddenly took the man's belt and then swung the table in front of her. She took the gun, then with the gun in her hand, she walked towards the door. Before they could react, Lucy killed them all, one by one. Next, she ate all the food on the table, then looked at the wound on her shoulder and calmly pulled out the bullet with her hand. As she entered the hospital, Mandarin on the screen automatically translated into English by Lucy like a robot. She entered the operating room looked at the patient's x-ray results and shot the patient dead. She then told the frightened doctors that the patient's tumor had spread to the brain cortex and there was no way to save it. So she told them to save her first. The doctor had no choice but to remove all the remaining drugs from her stomach, as instructed. When she arrived at her friend's house, Lucy immediately began using her laptop to search for information. She quickly came across Norman, a renowned professor in the world. Then a phone call came to his house. Lucy said she had read all of Norman's research because she had developed her brain to prove himself. Lucy appeared on TV right in front of him, claiming that her brain had developed 28%, that she had the ability to control everything, and that her brain cells were growing rapidly. With this condition, she knew she wouldn't live much longer. Norman said that Lucy should pass on the knowledge in her head in some form. Lucy thought this made a lot of sense. Then she began her own search for revenge. First, she went to the hotel of the gangsters and she shot them all before she saw the position of her enemies. When she opened the door, all the gangsters inside were already down. Next, Lucy quietly approached the leader of the gang and thrust two knives into his hands, making the man silent in pain. Lucy pressed her hands to his forehead and immediately read all of his memories, and soon knew where the remaining drug package had gone. Lucy's brain then developed to 30%. As she walked around the mall, her curly blonde hair immediately turned into long black hair. She called the police chief in Paris, giving him information about the remaining drug traffickers. Soon after, the three criminals were caught at the airport. On the plane, Lucy's hands were typing on the keyboard very fast. The man next to her peeked and was silent upon seeing it, but Lucy had mastered all human knowledge. At this point, her brain had developed 40%. But while she was drinking champagne, she found a tooth in her glass. Immediately after, she began coughing hard, and then spit out three more teeth. Then Lucy's skin began to fade away like sand. She rushed to the toilet, and then her face began to peel off. She had no choice but to take the remaining drugs from her bag and eat them ravenously. But as soon as she ate them, her entire body vanished, and a bright light shone and she lost consciousness. When she woke up, Lucy found herself in the hospital. The police had arrested her. She had just come out of the room, and immediately a group of police pointed their guns at her. But for her, it didn't matter. With a gentle gesture, she lifted her hands and everyone, except for the police chief, fell to the ground. Next, bullets fell one by one. 
Lucy asked where the three drug dealers who had been arrested were. The police who could do nothing told her that the dealers were being held in the hospital. So the two immediately set off and went to the hospital. On the way, Lucy analyzed the communication signals and found out that the human trafficking perpetrators were going to start an operation. To catch up with time, Lucy pushed the police officer to the passenger seat and began racing. The drug traffickers arrived at the hospital ahead of them, killing all the police officers and taking all the drugs. When they were about to leave, Lucy and the police arrived. Arrived. At that time, Lucy had reached 60% and had created a transparent wall to block the enemy's path. Lucy took one step at a time, and they all flew one by one. Lucy walked towards the traffickers and easily took the box. The trafficker could only watch as she left, unable to move his body. With the drugs in hand, Lucy met Norman. At this point, Norman had gathered a group of world-renowned experts in various fields who wanted to conduct a thorough study of Lucy. When one of the experts expressed his doubt about Lucy's powers, Lucy hugged his shoulder and told him every detail of her son's death. On the other hand, the gang leader knew that the mission had failed again. He was very angry and decided to take action himself this time. Some of the world's top experts were listening to Lucy. Lucy told them that this world is not meant to be measured by numbers. Time determines everything. At that time, the gang leader led his men into the building. Knowing that Lucy's time was almost up, Lucy told the experts to inject the remaining drugs into her body. This time she wanted to develop her brain to 100%. Soon after, Lucy's body absorbs all the drugs. Then, light bursts out of her mouth. Black matter begins to spread from her arms, slowly creeping towards all the electronic devices in the room, and starts absorbing their energy. Soon after, her brain develops to 80%. Lucy creates a world just for herself. The black matter then forms a supercomputer that develops her brain directly to 90%. At this point, Lucy is able to break through the boundaries of space and time. In a blink, she travels to the Eiffel Tower, then to the mountains, to Times Square in New York. Now she can control time as she pleases. With a wave of her hand, time stops. Then time moves forward and backward so fast, seeing the development of humanity in front of her, from the modern era to the dinosaur era. Finally, she meets the ancestors of mankind, as their two fingers touch. Lucy instantly flies into space and starts looking down at the entire planet. At this point, her brain has developed to 99%. At that moment, the gangster breaks in. Lucy's entire body starts to transform, and billions of cells inside her body start to merge at high speed, eventually merging into one entity and developing her brain to 100%. Then, Lucy disappears. The gang leader doesn't have time to shoot Lucy. All that's left of Lucy is a black dress. He tries to kill all the scientists but is shot dead by the police chief who arrives. Finally, the black matter that Lucy left behind emits a USB drive. Inside it may contain all the knowledge needed by humanity. Then, the black matter turns into dust. As the police chief asks about Lucy's whereabouts, suddenly his phone lights up and says Lucy is everywhere. At this point, Lucy has become one with the universe, and the film ends. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. What movie do you want next? Just comment below. Have a nice day.